Most players turn professional to chase fortune and records, but there's a man in the field at this week's US Open who's chasing a career in professional golf for a far more personal and philanthropic reason. Hayden Springer played collegiately at Texas Tech and TCU, winning the Big 12 title his senior season. After graduating, Springer bounced around many tours and Monday qualifiers, still searching for status stability in a COVID era. After graduating, I got to play in the Greenbrier. I got an exemption and then the COVID stuff happened and kind of canceled everything. So I've really uh, played a ton of Monday qualifiers and a lot of mini tour events. Springer met his wife, Emma, when they were freshmen at Texas Tech, both on the university golf teams. They wed in 2019 and soon thereafter found out they were going to be a family of three. Well, we, of course, talked about having kids and all of that stuff, and she felt like her calling was to be a mother and to have a family, and I've always wanted the same. So it's kind of put those two things together, and uh, we were just ready. But when the couple dreamed of starting a family, they had no idea of the turbulent road that lay ahead. So we learned the trisomy 18 diagnosis uh, around 23 weeks after uh, you know, ultrasound findings and all of that stuff. With the trisomy 18, she had a heart defect that is fatal if it's not repaired. And so we were turned away from getting that heart repair in the beginning. Essentially, we were told she would live maybe 72 hours um, after being born. Um, and that was if she survived birth at all. And so we, uh, we went to the hospital with nothing, uh, not expecting to go home with uh, our little girl. And so it was kind of, you know, um, it was hard. The Springers gave birth to a daughter, Sage, on October 7th, 2020. Her diagnosis was more optimistic than blood work and ultrasounds had previously suggested, and doctors were able to operate on her heart three months after her birth. She lived 24 hours and then 48 hours and then 72 hours, and the doctors were kind of like, okay, we need to look into this and see what's going on. And she's probably a couple months ago started to smile, more like socially, we've been loving that. And she loves to kind of get dipped upside down and she'll have a big smile whenever she comes back up. She's, she's doing good. Springer is making his US Open debut this week at Torrey Pines with his dad, Nayland, on the bag. Proud dad doesn't begin to describe him. To watch your child, or my son in this case, uh, find what they love to do, find what they're supposed to do, and be able to watch the work that went on behind that and the uh, sacrifice behind that to get to here. I, I guess you're just proud to watch them. Springer continues to chase his childhood dream of playing on the PGA Tour with the hopes of starting his own foundation one day to raise money for Trisomy 18. I think it's just something that's now like near and dear to our hearts, something that we want to help other families. We had to travel to get care. Uh, I think that's something that, you know, maybe a lot of people don't think about. Just in our situation, we feel like we want to be able to help future families and to help people, you know, understand trisomy 18 even more and, and know that it's, uh, there are a lot of opportunities within that diagnosis.